danach nach mir 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 you have arrived in his place. This is what our rabbis of blessed memory said. Have you done kol adam One should always judge his fellow man favorably. Because when there is a fight on someone, person has to search to find a positive merit in his friend that he is arguing with. In order to judge him favorably. Because there's going to be strife for two reasons. Or... One possible reason is because his friend is above him, so higher than him. Therefore, a person finds himself arguing with him because he did not reach that height. So if that's the case, so then it is upon this fellow who's causing, starting the argument, to raise himself to the level of his friend, so that they should be equal. And then there won't be any more arguments. <laughs> oh, sometimes the reason for the argument is the other way around. The person making the argument is higher than his friend. And the reason for the argument is Mahma Shahadeu Miskani Bo Al Shabohi Gil Madrigoso and his friend is jealous that he didn't reach where the person making the argument is. But Al Kain Sarakla Dunal Kapskus. So therefore it is important to judge comparatively Vizel Malachadeu the Kapskus. No, I said that he's making the argument, but it could be the other way. Rabin was just saying that this is a different scenario of the argument, and the, the subject is the person that's higher, even though the argument isn't coming from him. But since he is involved in the argument, so it is upon him to rectify it, and he does so by judging. The person lower than him favorably. And with this, by judging his friend favorably, he he raises him to be to be meritless, to be good. So as him be Makomecha, then they are already in the same place. And be Medrega Achas, in the same level. Vazi be Vazi lo yimachokis. Then certainly there will not be any fight. Because the whole reason why that there was a division was because they were different. Or because his friend is bigger than him, or because he is bigger than his friend. But if they would both be in the same place, the Madrid Gachas on the same level, there won't be any more division. Because something that is one can't be divided. Can't be in division. That's what it says in Avos. Do not judge your friend until you arrive in his place. To try to be in the same place, the same level as him. Either of those two ways that we just said. Either raise yourself up or raise him up. 
whichever one is applicable. And certainly there won't be any more division. Because something that is one isn't divided. <laughs> and with this, that a person raises his friend to merit it, it could be that his friend will return and will, st- will finish his fight with him, like we just said. Or, Shalom it could be that his friend will have a big fall. Because it could be, but you'll be pouring hot coals on his head. With this that you're raising him to be meritus, you in reality will be pouring hot coals on his head. <laughs> have you done this? That's what it says in Avros. You should judge every person favorably. Don Daika uses a word done to judge, which is a strong word. When you judge someone, that's a serious thing. Because when you judge someone favorably, it's not just a, an act of kindness that you're judging him favorably. You're actually judging him. And if there's a judgment, then it's a real judgment. Because it's known that before a person could rise to a higher level, there's a judgment. Okay, therefore, with this, that you judge him favorably, and by judging him favorably, you actually raise him to a higher place. So there's a judgment on him now. When he's coming to rise to his new place, there's a judgment. And the way, the way that he's going to leave the judgment, that's what's going to happen. So either he's actually going to come up to your higher level that you brought him to and there's not going to be division, or you're going to be pouring hot coals on him and he's just going to disappear down and there's not going to be my focus because <laughs> you're going to be the only one standing. <laughs>